All right, welcome back, everybody. Brian back with another live stream. So today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Ark. Now, I have a couple. I have a quick question because um, I know a lot of you guys have been following the series. Now, one of the things is. I finally went and got this game on Steam. I went and downloaded it. Um, I could, could do this completely off stream, um, but I just wanted to kind of run it past you guys right now to see what you guys think. But I did get the game on Steam. Um, I, I don't have any mods or anything downloaded yet. Uh, you know, the quality of life mods. And come to find out, I actually didn't even have all the expansions on Epic either. Because uh, when I loaded this one up, I had way more stuff when I bought the actual, like, full pack. Um but I would have to start over, obviously, because I'm on Steam now. But I can kind of cheat um, to kind of just get caught right back up to where I where I was. I um I, I watched a, a quick video. Uh, the dude was saying, "Yeah, you can just enable creative mode, build all. We can re rebuild our base. I can use the the tab menu to spawn in uh, a couple of dinos really quick. Um, some of our I don't need to get every dino, you know what I mean? I can spawn in a couple dinos, the ones that we already have, and I can bring my stats back up. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, you do not need to start over, just move over the save file. Hmm, actually, let me let me see. Maybe that will work. I don't know if that will work. Um, But it was either that or... When I go to move to the next map, right, I'll just kind of do whatever. Um, not not sure how, uh, which, which one would have been better. You know what I mean? Definitely not starting over from the beginning. No, no, that, that's definitely not, uh, not a fresh start on island. I would do a fresh start on another map, but I definitely do not want a fresh start on island. No, I want to, because we got, we got so many other maps we want to get to. Um, so, yeah, there was that. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I want to do. Uh, but as you guys can see. But I just want to let you guys know I did end up getting the game on uh, on Steam. I, I got to move my camera here. Sorry if I sound a little stuffed up today, chat. Oh, okay. So this is one of the issues I'm having, chat. I, I, I keep trying to bring up my uh, my epic version, and as you guys can see, uh, it's all sorts of jacked up looking. How the hell do you... Is there like a, a button I can push on my PC that will just like minimize or, or full screen a, an application automatically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's all sorts of jacked up, chat. I'm trying to fix it, but I can't... I can't like reach the top of the screen to drag it down. <laughs> Um, because it's got stuck on Windows mode, but Windows mode in 4K, so it's like huge, and I can't grab the top of it to drag it down to hit the X or or the square. Alt Enter. See, I was hitting Alt Enter. It didn't work. Nothing, chat. Uh, Windows button plus shift and up arrow. Oh, shit. Okay, that yeah, that did something. No, this minimizes it. Oh, there we go. There we go. We fixed it. All right, let me get in here. Options, windowed full screen. Boom, we're fixed. All right, there it is, chat. You guys saved the day. Um, options. Yeah, I was, say, uh, I was like, yo, I might have to play on Steam. <laughs> Uh, just because that shit was not working. Alright, let's get back into this chat. <clears throat> yeah, I turned the music on. So the reason why, uh, I guess a, a, a little bit of a... Uh... When I first started playing Ark, it was during the Christmas event, and they had some Christmas music playing, and I didn't know if that shit was counter or copyright or not, so I turned it off because it sounded pretty damn copyright to me. <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I ended up turning off the the music. All right, so 
Today's plan, chat, like I told you guys, is I want to focus a bit more on our base and getting everything squared away. Uh, because, yeah, we have, I built the fabricator, but I haven't actually focused on, like, leveling up our crafting or getting our hands on better equipment. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, we could do a chemistry station. Refrigerator. Shotgun. Generator. Yeah, it's it's time, Chad. It's time for us to really start focusing on uh, getting some some more crafting stuff up. Uh, I did. I I'm not gonna lie, Chad. When I was installing the game on Steam, uh, one of the main videos that they have like popped up, like you know, on the little preview thing, and I think I previewed. I, I don't know what the hell it was, but it was. It didn't even look like Ark, Chad. It did not even look like art. Like, that shit had, like, robot dinosaurs, spaceships, big-ass mechs with swords. I was like, yo, I want to play that, dude. Um, but I know we got to work our way up to that for sure. But that shit looked cool. <laughs> uh, that shit definitely looked cool. All right. Um, so we have simple bullets already. Yeah, it blew my mind. I was like, what is that? Like, I I wasn't ready for it, Chad. I was not ready for it. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. I already... Did I... Okay, so I did search the grappling hook. Fabricator, polymer. We got that. <clears throat> Generator. Pretty sure we'll need all this crap at some point for the... Uh, we got the grill. Impost, radio, chain bola. Grab that. Okay, so we got the pump action shotgun. Why, why do you gotta be so hungry, bro? The dude's over here starving, chat. Over here starving. Now, I had a bunch of food, but what ended up happening was, is, uh, yeah, we got wrecked. Um, we got wrecked inside of that, uh, that dungeon that we did, or the cave, right before, uh, we ended last episode. As you guys can see, I did get my first artifact, though. Alright, so, let me get back to these engrams. I'm trying to figure out... Okay, refrigerator, we got... Now, is there, like, an advanced cooking station? Like, what? what's the next thing over the, uh... The campfire was the grill, right? I think I have that one already on here somewhere. Yeah, right here, the grill. Okay, so we're definitely we're building this right now. That that I'm gonna build right this second. I gotta turn that dude off though, cause he's so annoying. Um, how do I turn off the turret mode? Disable turret mode. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of this metal really quick. I got metal and crystal. Yeah, so we're going to be spending uh, probably the first 30, 40 minutes here just getting situated at base. Um, I really, really want to, uh, you know, I want to get a grappling hook. I want to, I, I, we're going to focus on, on actually... Getting our stuff on point, chat. Get an artifact pedestal? Yeah, I might I might do that. Alright. 
Um, let me see. I got more metal in here somewhere. Jimmy killed a level 100 Truden. Jimmy's still stuck out in the in the wilderness chat. We, we lost Jimmy. Whoop. Did not mean to do that. Okay, I was like, dude, I, I know I got more metal than this. What the heck? Okay, so let me go ahead and drop this armor, because when we're at base, I don't think I need to have this damn black armor on. It's super, super heavy. We'll probably be okay with just our, our, our higher level hide armor that we had. That way I can uh, save myself a little bit of heartache when it comes to being overweight. Split <clears throat> drag to... Oh, from... From the actual... Inventory itself. All right, let me grab this too. Boom. Actually, I'll take that too because we'll throw this in here. Get the rest of this hooking up. Nope, there it is. There's my hide armor. Okay, so we got that on. Um. All these out of here, chat. We don't need all this crap in here. Hey, you triggered the five gifted members. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, we I could probably use another crystal run. That's for sure. Um, we haven't done a crystal run in a bit. Uh, but I, that's why I kind of wanted to get my base squared away here um, really quick and just get an idea of what I have, what I need. Okay, so I actually have a ton of gunpowder. That is awesome. I did forget that, uh, whoops. I got a bunch of that crafted up. I just want to get all of my metals, uh, consolidated. I'm going to do another, like, big chest here. For extra, well, I got this one here, actually, so... But, uh, Trigger, I really do appreciate the five gifted members and everybody who received one of those memberships. Welcome to the fam. Alright, so we get all that stuff out of there. I do need some more flint, though, if we're gonna be crafting, uh... Polymers, get that out of there. Getting all the stuff that's not for base building out. I actually have quite a few more resources than I initially thought. Those in there.
Alright. Let's drop that in there. I just... Got all of my dinos. And yeah, we're just trying to square away our inventory right now, chat. It was. But what? Get out. Huh? Going to potty right now. <laughs> Alright, hold on one sec, chat. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about that chat. Ah! Alright, let's get this drop there. Oh, it's getting really dark. Yeah, well. <clears throat> mm. Alright, so we got that squared away. I got, gotta figure out where we're gonna store these dudes. We'll store them up here, I guess, for right now. Granny with the super chat. Thank you so much. If you only tame one dino today, make it a tickle chicken. Uh, you'll be amazed by it. Tons harvest tons and hits like a yeah. I might I might I might actually check one of those out. Um, for sure, we could probably probably use one. All right, so it is super super dark in here right now, but that's fine. Uh, oh, Granny again. Thank you so much. Um. Well, that's all squared away. If you only tame one dino today, make it a tickle chicken. You will be amazed by it. Harvests tons and hits like a carnivore. Well worth it. Honestly, I feel like we didn't... I feel like... I thought I had more metal than I do, chat. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why, but I felt like I was going to have way more metal. We're going to have to end up doing another metal run at some point, but I should definitely have enough metal, um, maybe not enough crystal, though, if, I, if I'm being honest, we're probably not going to have enough crystal. <clears throat> Let me see, how much do we have in here? Crystal, 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 crystal. None? Do I actually have zero crystal? Oh, actually, really quick. Let me let me do this. Uh, Cause I did this in my other. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I can go check. I gotta, that's what I gotta go check right now. Is my uh. My tames. Okay, here. This is nice because I can actually turn this into stuff for gunpowder. So he has a little bit of stone and thatch on him, and you have okay. That's what I saw. So I was I was building out of my dinos, so um, I know a lot of my resources and shit are in them. But I want to get this in here so I can get some more uh, spark powder done up, and then once we get some more spark powder, we can go ahead and get some more gunpowder done too. <clears throat> Alright, so the sun should be coming up here soon. Let's get, check our Archie here. Wow. There it is, chat. Holy crap. That All of this from that dungeon run, man. That's legit. That is so legit. So we got better hide pants here. Let's grab those. Grab these weapons. So I'll go ahead and throw these advanced hide pants on the apprentice. Judy died. Yeah, it, it was the it was the bad Judy though, chat. Um, our good Judy is out on the roof. Uh, I had another Judy that I purposely let wander because I didn't I didn't know how to. Uh, I didn't know how to, uh, whatchamacallit, like this is the actual, the real Judy, the level 210 Judy. Um, I didn't know how to get rid of dinosaurs that I didn't want anymore. Um, so I just put her on Wander and, and figured she'd, she'd figure it out. <laughs> um, and yeah, she met her maker, so. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't know how to like uh, release them or get rid of them or have them go off and do their own it, I just didn't know how to do it. So That was my solution. We got this Mastercraft hatchet also. We'll carry that on us. So we got some pretty decent gear in my opinion. Didn't you guys say with a Is there any way that you can like break down um, like, weapons I don't need. Say I, like, end up with, like, 40 hatchets. Because I have a ton of, like, these stone hatchets and stuff like that. Is there any way to, like, break those down for resources or whatever? The grinder? Okay. So that's goals then, chat. I felt like, I'm like, dude, I'm getting so much, like, gear, um, but I, I don't know what to do with it. Got blueprints in here, yep. 
So drop that in there. It's my Alpha Raptor Claw. Okay, so we got all that in there. Um, these chests are squared away. That's all squared away. Our dinos, for the most part, are emptied. This... Uh, let's get that... So I need to go out and get crystal checks. I want to get that grill built first. We'll go get that grill built because I don't have any crystal in here. I thought I did. Uh, but I must have used it all when I was making my diving equipment and stuff. Because, yeah, I have, I have no crystal. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll head out with our RG and our Enki. We'll go inside the volcano. I'll mine up some uh, some crystal and maybe get some extra metal. Just make sure you're empty. What, well, Jasbu? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, those dungeons are definitely a good way, chat, to get your hands on uh, the chitons or chitons. All right, so I should be good to go. I got stuff for mining. I got the RG. I got that. We got water. I will actually. We'll stop down by the water really quick. this off of us for right now. Whoops, I actually should keep at least two stacks though for... her to eat. And the rest of that I can just drop for right now. Yeah, harvesting food is not a hard, especially meat. Like, I go out with my Rex and I can fill my inventory like nothing. Primal meat though is a little tougher. But I'm hoping that once we get the uh, once we get the setup, we can actually go out farm primal meat and throw it on the grill. I don't know if the grill can hold like a significant, like more, like significantly more uh, food than the other one. Because the campfire, you, you, I could barely have the firewood in there and cook one stack of mo meat. You know what I mean? Check my raft. My raft has a bunch of oil. Well, had a bunch of oil. But it doesn't... Oh, for the crystal. Check my wrap for crystal. Holds way more food. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's super annoying. Oh, that, that's what attacked Judy. There's a raptor down there that just got erased by those triceratops. Whoops. Where are you going better than knowing key? Get over here. Yeah, the, these dudes are actually pretty decent swimmers. Alright, let's see what we got on the raft. My dive suit, bullets, ammo, um, patchy saddle. Nothing great. A lot of bullets, though. A lot more. I can't believe I actually had those bullets sitting there this whole time. Uh, but mainly just my dive gear. Yeah, we're gonna. We're, we're definitely getting a grill chat. That's uh, that's goals right now. Right, 
Let's head to the volcano. How am I running so fast? I've dumped I've dumped a lot of points, Brad, into um into movement speed, but I I am going to be trying to craft one of those uh mind light poise potions and I'm gonna I'm gonna re redo my stat. Ooh, there's a gold drop over there too, and a red drop way over there. Uh, I'll actually hit this. Hmm. I don't know if I should risk it with my Anki with me. I should have sucked them up in. I do have. Actually, you know what? You don't have to take. I don't know why I, I don't just use the cryopods. Trying to look for a safe place to suck him up in a cryo. Oh, never mind. Gold drop is gone. I'm starting to look a little, a little dangerous out here, chat. Attack that Anki, bro. You're probably gonna have a bad day. Yep. We're after metal and crystal now, chat. We gotta get some metal and some crystal. Uh, Jordan, how you doing? But I do appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out today. Like I said, we're going to be focusing big time on trying to get some uh, player power. I've been focusing quite a bit lately on uh, just taming dinos, which is fine. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to focus on some player power now. Uh, DB, I'm, I'm I'm loving the game. I'm 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 loving the game a lot. So, is the assault rifle even worth getting, or or shotgun all day, chat? Shotgun all day. Uh, I'm on the very first starter map. Um, yeah, we're on the starter map here. Uh, island. Yeah, look at all that crystal right there. So does the Anki farm crystal? Well, I don't... Might want to strip off this hide armor too, though. I don't know if. if yeah, he definitely farms crystal. Rare mushrooms. PvE's for it. Well, good thing I'm a noob, then. Well, how did it fill up? So the Anki only gets weight reduction on, um... Metal, right? Everything else is gonna just be heavy as hell for him. 
We don't need this. We don't need that. And I'll keep these rare mushrooms just in case. Yeah, he's not getting any weight reduction whatsoever on the crystal. So he's having a hard time getting, uh, having a hard time getting to the crystals in between the rocks here. I'm just going to farm up the crystal myself so I can get in between the rocks. And we'll use him for the metal. Um, so let's see. Pickaxe on Chris. Hoping that um, these rare mu um, the, well, the reason why I'm keeping these rare mushrooms, I think they might uh, come in handy for some of those potions and shit like that. You guys were talking about all the they're rare, so they got they gotta be good for something, right? Onyx, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, the grubs, what's going on? How you doing? And guys, I want to thank you. Already almost 250 likes on the stream. That is super, super huge. Let's drop this crap. Gotta make sure we don't overload our RG too much. Yeah, the RG cuts the weight of the crystal in half. Chat, that's crazy. Uh, how are you looking on weight, though? Yeah, we got plenty of plenty of space. Honestly, the pickaxe is just as good as the... the Enki. Andrew Henry with the membership. Welcome to the family. Yeah, we're, we're definitely hot. I was thinking about taking some of this clothes off because we're actually getting pretty hurt here. Do that. Should heal us up a bit. We, I, I wanted to get the otter. I know you guys have been telling me to find the otter. Um, we looked. Couldn't find one, though. So this, how much crystal do we got? Should be enough crystal right now. I don't want to overload my RG too much because I still got to be able to pick up the Anki and fly him. So Gilly also keeps you cool.
Man, that filled up quick, man. Oh, uh, because we got some crystal. We'll drop that. Keep the metal. Keep the obsidian. Alright, we move out this way. We should no longer be super... Hot. Yep, perfect. And this area still has pretty good, uh... Resources. So you guys are saying the RG has better rate reduction on metal than the Anki does? We got some metal down here. Yep. Seriously, all them damn berries. <laughs> you guys see that? Getting that metal. Just regular stone. Oh, there we go. I don't think my urge is going to be out of. Pick them up, though, and fly at a reasonable pace. We'll have to see. Okay, so we got three, six, nine, almost a thousand more metal. Still not as much as I would like. I need a better RG. Lisa's level 145, chat. She was actually a pretty high level when we got her, right? Better RG, better Anki. You guys got to remember... This Anki is better than no Anki. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So we should have... A little bit. We got 400 pounds there. Can you hold? Okay, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Alright.
No, she can fly. <clears throat> I forget. I, I've been. I've been making sure that she had. You know, pretty decent. Um. Yeah, he's full up for uh, that. She had pretty decent carry weight. It was a gold drop up on top of the mountain here. Oh, put the obsidian on there. RG. I keep forgetting. Yeah, she's. You see this drop though. Only thing about this area is I fell last time trying to freaking dismount up here. Ooh, what is this? This is a... Diplo, a journeyman Diplo. I don't even know if I have any of those. Jose with the super chat. Um, you killed an otter in the first or second session. Think of the an Anki as a pick, by the way. Oh, got you, got you. It's a pickaxe instead. Got you. Uh, well, Jose, thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. I actually, uh, if we do this, it'll free up a little bit more space on our Anki. Who knows? Maybe he'll mine up a little bit more stuff. How much weight is that now? Yeah, not even half. So if we fly him down by some metal... Do the air stop or whatever. He he should farm a little bit. Crazy, nobody's like better than no Anki since we got him. Better than no Anki's just had no luck. <laughs> he's not he's not a chat favorite. to get lower. Okay, I gotta find a safe place to land. I thought the Anki could go to 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 fifty percent, but yeah, he he didn't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, we haven't we haven't found a, a Giga yet, not yet, yet.
Yeah, I should probably start bringing like multiple RGs with me. Um, then we can just load them up. Is that a Rex? Is that a Rex? Why is that bird being annoying? I mean, if you're gonna fight, fight, bro. I think that might be a Rex down there. Or a Spino. Yeah, it's the level 20 Spino. That was a that was a weird uh fighting strategy for that that bird there. He came up, pecked me, and just ran away. Terror birds are all about the hit and run. So now we should have plenty of resources to do what we need to do. Now, it is going to be very, very expensive trying to uh, get our hands on a, uh, whatchamacallit, what are those things, the, 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 the industrial forge? Um, so I was thinking what we could do for the industrial forge is maybe I'll build an off-site, like, metal crafting area you know we'll, we'll just have uh some forges there maybe like four or five forges um i'll build a couple chests and then we can build our industrial forge off site and then or i can build it and then just like load the metal up on the archies or whatever But I feel it'd be way easier to build it off-site where the metal's at. Because 2,500 freaking metal, that, that's a lot, chat. Wild, thank you so much. Holy crap, that is a huge super chat. First of all, I want to say thank you so much. Um, I finally caught up to this episode. I'm happy you're uh, pushing through to play an amazing game. Uh, it really brought the spark back to the island of my eyes. And there it is. Wild, I'm glad... Now uh, you're enjoying it, and again, thank you so much for the support. That I means have a lot. finally caught up to this episode, and I am so happy you're pushing through to play this amazing game. It's really brought the spark back to the island in my eyes. Less than three. And boop. Yeah, so that'll probably be a, a goal of ours to set up at some point. Get an off-site. That way we ain't got to worry about transferring all of this metal all the way back to base. Or, uh, and then cooking it all the way back here. I can just cook it all there, load up maybe two or three RNGs with a couple thousand ingots, and then bring it back. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> it'd be easier to just transfer the ingots. <laughs> Boom. All right. So throw a couple stacks of crystal in here. Sneeze. We got that now. Turn on. 
Craft one of those. Oh, ingots don't get weight reduction at all? Not even on an RG? There it is, Chess. So we got our grill. Let's see. So what is this bad boy? Let's get this set up right over here. Oh. Okay. A little... little little bigger than I uh, <laughs> thought it was going to be. A <laughs> little bigger than I thought. Okay. So how does this baby work? Must contain gas to start the grill. All right. GG. Um, got a little bit of extra fuel here. Let's go ahead and split this. Put the gas in there. All right. So let's drop. Go ahead and throw some meat in here. So now I'll be able to cook a lot. So does it literally is it gonna cook like this, chat? Let's see. Are we actually gonna be able to cook cook now? thing is mass what 12 meat that fast oh chat how did we how did we how did we do it any other way That's crazy. Oh, Jose with another super chat, brother. Thank you so much. The initial level of a dino is what counts. Now that you have increased the levels, it's recommended to get better ones. Um, even if you have already have them, try for 100 and above. Yeah, that that's our new goal, Jose. Yeah, that, that's about what I've set my goal at now for dinos. Um, we're going to aim for, you know, right about that level 100. For sure. Okay, so let's... So we got a bunch of crystal. I'm happy with that. Um, definitely happy with that. I believe I have some thatch here. Yep. Four things of thatch. Drop one in there. Grab that. Drop one in there. One in there. Drop that in there. Now, this cooking pot. Let's see here. Um, I 
hell is that? What was that, chat? Sounds like there's something. No wow, all of that meat is cooked. Insanity, chat. Insanity. That's nothing now. Like, like, yeah. Full stack of meat. No, no problem. I love it. Go ahead, drop that in there for right now. Um, so before I was. Okay, we got a bad dino. He didn't know, chat. He, he didn't know. He didn't know. Now... This is one of the things I'm interested in now. So... We got the mushrooms in here, right? Um... Let's take those out. Place that with uh, some thatch. Okay, so how do you get the recipes? Or do I gotta find the recipe? Because I actually I have I had some recipes. Where the hell are those? Actually had some recipes somewhere. I don't remember where they are though. Yeah, right here. So Lazarus Chowder. Lazarus Chowder. Egg base kibble. Why does that sound so complicated? So, how how do I how do I get the um how do I get the what you call it the uh the mind wipe tonic? Oh, the do dodo X. So I don't know what the dodo X is. I've never. Is it just like an app or something? Oh, we got a tickle chicken right here, chat. Hey, what's up with all, the all these dangerous dinos around my base all of a sudden? Yep, make sure I keep these doors closed. Oh, it is just an app on the phone. Dodo X. Uh, let me see. Apps. Yeah, I'm about to check that Tickle Chickens level right now. Level 15.
Definitely not worth it. Okay, so we got the grill. We got the grill done. Um, let me see. Grappling hook. Cement paste and three stone arrows. So, I don't know I'm crafting these arrows. Um, how many uses do you get out of the grapple hook? Is it like a one-time thing? Or is it like a degradation thing? So grappling hook. Need to get some more thatch. We're in business. One time per use? That's garbo. I thought I'd be able to, you know, like, be Batman and shit, though, you know what I mean? All right, well, we got we got some of the grappling hooks done. Um, fabricator, let me see. Now let's go look at this. But we need polymers, right? We got a ton of metal, um, got... Decent amount of cement paste that could obviously use more. Now, I know there was a way to make cement paste. I don't remember what it was. I think it had something to do with these, though. Okay, so we can make plenty of polymers right now. I want to actually have a good bit of obsidian. I can go hit some more beaver dams. Um, because we got a ton there. Let me see. Okay, and spo wait, no, no. So it's stone and. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. And after our little dungeon run there, we have a ridiculous amount of the uh, titans, so I'm not super worried about it. Leave those ones in. Wow. We actually have a lot more than I thought, chat. Look at this. I even have these ones down here. What I once thought was the rarest resource in the game. <laughs> Legit, chat. I was, I was so like, yo. These are so hard to get your hands on. I, I'm now like bursting at the seams with it. All right, so crap. Oh, that's it? Oh, we need more stone. Okay.
Have you heard about the legend of the Dodo Rex? I, I have, Samuel. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to download it right now. So it's the Dodo X or Dodo Rex. Dodo Rex. The Dodo Rex Companion Taming Calculator Survival. Yep, get it. Install. It's installing as we speak, chat. Or the Dodo X. Yeah, that's what I got. The Dodo X. The Dodo Dex. It's like the. It's it's like it's like a Pokedex, but for our. All right, now let's see. So we got that going. We got some polymers that we're going to... Now, I could go and try to get organic polymers, but I feel like that's just going to be too much of a... hassle at the moment. Let's just do regular polymers for right now. Then we gotta get some more simple some of those simple bullets done up too for the shoddy. Okay, so while this is going, let me not stand next to it because it's super damn loud. We're looking for the mind what was the name of it, chat? Was it the mind wipe? Potion. No. Um. Recipes. Here we go. Nope. Recipes. Oh, is it is it consumables? Let me see. Mind wipe tonic, crafted in cooking pot. Okay, so we need. Wow, that's expensive. Just seventy-two narcotics, seventy-two stimulants, which I don't even know what that is. I've never even made those before. Um, 24 cooked prime meat, 20 rare flowers, 20 rare mushrooms, 200 mojo berries, mijo berries, and a water skin. Um, now I know I have, I know I have some of the rare flowers. I don't think I have 20 though. We got 16. Let's get those in there for right now. And I need some more of the rare mushrooms also. Um, but the narcotics... Let me see. Do I have any in here? So, is the stimulant, is that a, um, is that an ingram like the narcotics? Let's see, stim. Yep, there it is, stimulant. Spark powder stim berries. Okay, that's a, that's a new one for me, I've never even seen that. Uh, cooked prime meat, we got that now that, especially now that we got that big ass thing. Uh, the, the mijo berries, so it's the rare flowers. And the rare mushrooms. So, I know I can get rare mushrooms from the crystal. Right? Um, is there any dino that's really good at farming rare flowers and rare mushrooms?
So what am I trying to respect my fickle chicken? Okay. And beaver dams get flowers. So we're actually going to go hit some beaver dams right now. Um, we got that. I think I have some... I, I want to respect... Uh, so when you guys say respect my stats, uh, I'm going to get rid of this. I got 50 points in food and water. That's super, super pointless. Uh, so I'm going to be taking those 50 points back out. Um, melee damage is not that important. Not as important as I thought. I got a hundred, like a ton of points in that. So I'm going to strip that out. Um, and then even like crafting skill, I might strip, strip that out. And I'm probably going to go more towards aiming for health. Um, carry weight, movement speed, fortitude, and I don't know, maybe stamina. Uh, because mainly I'm mounted on dinos anyway, so it's like I don't need to worry about a whole lot. Melee is very important. Yeah, well, I'm not doing... Yeah, I'm not on PvP, so... And and then it's like, when it comes to, like, melee and dinos, I feel like I I just either, A, I use another... I'm, I'm always on a dino. Okay, so let's see. Drop this in here. I'm gonna take Wendy out. We're gonna go farm up a bunch of berries. Uh, cause I need now I need stim berries and narco berries. We're gonna grab both. I had more narcotics in here. Oh, there they are. Okay, so we need more of these. All right, Wendy, you ready? Ooh, Wendy actually already has some stim berries on it, too. We'll throw the rest of this stuff in the, uh... So we're gonna go for Miju Berries, Thin Berries, and Narcotics. I've ever gotten um, flowers from Wendy. They're only in swamp. Got you. So it, it's a specific thing. get a high enough level tickle chicken they seem like they might be relatively fast
Looks like a big giant purple flower. Wendy's weight is getting a bit high, so let's go in her inventory really quick. Clean out all the unnecessary stuff. As you guys can see, I did go ahead and sort the the inventories like you guys were telling me. Um, definitely makes things a bit more simple. I'm trying to think what seeds I want to start keeping. Keep all those. Keep those. Medjool berry seeds. We'll keep those. Narco berry seeds. Dim berry seeds. Awesome thing is, Chet, it all started with Wendy, right? And I'm just so happy that Wendy's still here to this day. She is still here, alive and kicking. Even when you guys were doubting. Good start. we go. So now Wendy has all of the goodies we need. So I'm going to grab all these because I'm going to always need Narcos, chat. Always need Narcos. And in here, we'll do these. So, spark powder and... Dims, berries.
pull all this out for right now. Leave that. Okay. Okay, so we got the... We're working on the Mind Wipe Tonic. Uh, I got some polymers upstairs. Let's go up here and check. So now for, say, shotgun, we just need more cement paste, which we're going to head out right now and go get. Uh, for more polymers, we would just need more cement paste. All right, so we're going to go out, hit a couple beaver dams, get our hands on some cement paste. <laughs> Uh, Angel Warrior with the super chat. Thank you so much. IR Stoner, what's going on? Good morning. Yeah, I got a little bit, like I said, but not enough. I want to make sure I have all of the cement paste that we have in base, just so I can keep track of it. There we go. Yeah, we don't have very much at all, so we're going to go hit the beaver dams. Maybe I'll bring my, uh, we'll bring our big boy out with us this time. For the channel, you might want to improve just a bit on the settings on tame dinos in your... Uh, Jose with the super chat. Thank you so much. So I did increase the uh, the dino time by a lot. Um, the tamed dino time, it's maxed out. And then for player stats, I really didn't touch anything on there only because it seemed like I did level up relatively quick. Like the leveling time was not, if anything, I probably could have slowed it down a little bit. But um, yeah, honestly, my player level didn't really seem to matter all that much. Oh, yeah, smelt my metal. Thank you for reminding me of that, because I would have been pissed. I, I, I set that up earlier and never went ahead and did it. Since you're trying to go a bit faster for the channel, you might want to improve just a bit the settings on Tamed Dinos and yours. Under Advanced, Tamed Dinos, and Player Stats. Last message today, XD. Uh, Jose, thank you so much, bro. I really do appreciate the super chat, man, and the tips, brother. Wendy deserves a boss kill. I don't know if Wendy can survive a boss kill, chat. <laughs> There we go. Shift drag that. Boom! Yeah, definitely gonna get forges built off site. be so much more efficient. And uh, Raizu and Devious, thank you guys for the subs. I do appreciate it. Okay, so we got that metal cooking up currently. Um, now we're going to head out 
And what are we... So we're going out to get... I was wondering if I should throw the otter in there, chat. Try to see if we could spot an otter, too. Yeah, the chemical bench. So what do we need for this? We need... Ooh. So, I mean, because we're going to hunt down beavers anyways. We're going to be near the water, so I figured we'd probably just look for uh, an otter while we're over there. Um, but here we have... We need polymers, spark powder, cement paste. So electronics. I got 125 so far. We need 250. Um... Now, I know the best way to get those is by farming the tech dinos. And I'm pretty sure that's all of the, the ones I have currently. Yeah, so we'll, we'll worry about the tech dinos after. We're going to go get the... We're go, well, one at a time, one thing at a time, because I'm going to get overwhelmed if I... Mentally, if I don't... Keep my shit together. So we're gonna go. Beaver dams, get cement paste, and then Yeah, beaver dams, cement paste, otter. everything I need. Don't tell me level 45. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try to get an otter and uh, hit these beaver dams, get a bunch of cement cement paste because I know they pay out well. We 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 hit these uh, before. I got like I, I want to say what was it? Well over a thousand. Well over a thousand cement paste. So. Uh, you can craft electronics. Oh wow, the medical and the silica per metal and silica pearls. I still don't quite understand how to farm the pearls. I know we can get them in the water. Go throw the dive suit on and just float around the water, see if we can see a bunch. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the organic polymers. For, yeah. Just seen some electronics I could have farmed really quickly. Don't know where what. Maybe that raptor ate him? It was a tech parasaur or whatever over here somewhere. He disappeared. He's level 15. I had a lot of people in the comments that were still saying that my difficulty was messed up. But, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I could do. I think it's just the map we're playing on. Not so much the actual difficulty. Get the 15, I got a 45 near my base. Got a level 45 tickle chicken. There's some beaver dams and a sarco. Joke chat. Stylus OP chat. Uh, keep the fur for right now. I'll keep that fish. Cook that up when we get back to base. I will transfer all this stuff over to my RG. Yeah, we got the pearls right there. And this will just drop out. Damn, this one really didn't have much of anything, chat. But we did get more flowers and mushrooms.
Let me see if there's any more dams around here anywhere. Nope, it was just the two. if this prime meat even makes it back to base, but we'll try. I'm happy about the pearls, though. We got freaking almost 100 pearls. Okay, so now we got to try to find another spot where we can get some uh, more beavers. So we just hit this river. I wonder if I will find more if I go up and to the right. You know what I mean? If I follow the, the, the river in between the... Up that way. Do you think we could spot more beaver dams from up there? Follow the river going up towards, uh, like, in between redwoods. Also checking these trees for some more thylas. Not that I can capture one right now, but I want to get jumped on. Me on the bird looking pretty. Hey, Camille, how you doing today, brother? Water here seems too shallow. Now, I'm definitely having some Judy flashbacks, as you guys know. That's where I, I lost my first flyer. I was flying too close to these damn trees, and a thyla jumped off the tree, knocked me to my death, and then killed my damn flyer. But and that was before I even knew they existed. I didn't even know they were in the game. All this water seems too shallow.
That's going into the redwoods there. And uh, thank you, everybody, for over 500 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. Here we go. We got some water over here. This water looks good. Ooh, there's some... Heck, dinos. joke. Nice. Nice, 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 chat. Probably actually... I feel like our stamina's good on our RG. Our weight's good. Maybe we'll start actually stacking some stuff into melee damage. Raiden with the super chat. Got my first griffin yesterday on Ragnarok. Uh, crazy how much faster it is compared to the RG. I, I, didn't, I didn't even know there was a map called Ragnaros, Ragnarok. I feel like I got so much ahead of me, chat, in this damn game. Stuff I'm not even ready for. Beaver dams. Oh, looked like a good spot. Is there any dams around here, chat? Go left toward the mountains. So up this way. Northeast of Redwoods. See a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of water here. Gotta be careful. This is where the Rexes were too. There's actually a tech tech rex here that killed uh, our other Judy. Oh, there's a frog. Nancy with the membership, welcome to the family. And Eve, thank you so much for the super chat. How are you guys doing today?
I've seen people saying that like, I need to play online. The only issue, like I said, with playing online, especially as a streamer, you get stream sniped, you, then, uh, like I said, then I get carried and, and all this other stuff. It's, it's a lot more logistics um, than when I play solo. And I, I've tried it again. With, I've tried it with other multiplayer online games like Scum and things like that. And I'll be playing single player. There it is, Beaver Dams. I'll start off playing single player, and then as soon as I move to multiplayer, the the series dies. People don't. People are just like, ah, you know, it's not really what they want to see, or you know what I mean. So I. That's generally why I'm. I'm not 100% on trying games online, especially games like this. Like I said, the main, the main issue is I play online, you know, I invite people and and this is this is how it happens chat literally i'll i'll have a stone i'll have our little stone base not even the base we have right now say i start a new game and i have my i have my uh, uh but this is even if i allow people to, to join you know even people that we vetted um and raiden first of all thank you so much for the super chat brother i appreciate it um a karcha is greater than a giga i don't even know what that is karcha um but what ends up happening is I'll have my little thatch base. We'll be starting. Everything is good. And then I'll log off for the night. We log on for next episode. And next thing I know, there's a castle built with all the guns, all the armor. There'll be two gigas standing there with saddles on them. And then there'll be this super gear dude like, Brian, look what I got for you, bro. And I'm like, holy shit, dude. Like, you didn't have to, that's, that's too much. Like, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, people don't do it to be malicious. They don't do it to be, they, they just, they, just, they want to help out, you know? And, uh, but then the issue with that is then I don't, I don't get to do anything. You know, everybody is always doing everything for me uh, when I play on multiplayer. And, you know, I can't ban people for just trying to be nice, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's... It takes away from my experience, you know what I mean? So what ends up happening is I, I play online and then I end up just playing solo online also. So we're, we're making out pretty damn good right here, chat. That was a good good haul, right? Cement paste is not as high as it could be. But we got the rare flowers that we need. We got pearls. And we got some metal. We got some more electronics. Let's see if there's another dam around here. Do I, uh, you do nice Rexes, I can trade a Giga for a few stuff. Yeah, exactly, you know, like that, that type of stuff's cool, but then at the same time, you know what I mean? If somebody traded me a Giga, or even traded me a Rex, like, like I want to, ooh, like right there. Level 100 male, level 100 male, level 100 male. It's pretty close, right chat? Pretty close to a level 100 male. That's not bad, Chad. That's a level 70 pickle chicken. It's the highest one I've seen. 
yet, but... We're setting our standards high. Chat says level 100. I would settle for my initial tickle chicken. I would settle for like 85 and up for my, my starter tickle chicken. But that's not to say I'm never going to try online chat. That's I'm not saying that at all because uh, this game it very intrigues me quite a bit. I, I I sit here and I think, damn, I can't uh, like playing solo. I can't imagine what this game would be like online. Like it'd be, uh, but I I would want to make sure I'm like carrying my own weight if I were to play online. And not be such a noob. Great in Hex. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Not to rub it in, but you found a 145 Tech Rex. GG, man. Only if I could be so freaking lucky. Okay, let's see. It's a good body of water here. I don't think there's any beaver dams in here, though. I don't even see any beavers. We're quite a bit further away from base than I initially planned. Like, way on the other side of the map now. Now, this is Carnal Island. We could fly over to Carnal Island. Oh, there's an Alpha Raptor. Hmm. What level is it? I wonder if my RG can kill an Alpha, Alpha Raptor. If not, level 10 Alpha Raptor. I, I could always just jump on my Thyla and kill it. But I think my RG should be able to kill it. Think. Shit, man. Wow, chat. That's crazy, man. That's crazy how much damage those things freaking can withstand. And it was such a low level alpha. Stick to the plan. We'll head back to base. Um, maybe we can spot an otter on this beach somewhere. Go right to the lake.
Yeah, I think we went to that lake before. Yeah, the hidden one. I believe it's right over here. Oh, yeah, got oh, three, three beaver dams here. Four. It doesn't seem like there's anything inherently dangerous here. Perfect, chat. Perfect! Okay, that's not a dam. Thought that was a dam. Yeah, it was only the two. Like I've seen ruins. Miss Walker's impromptu visits are always an unexpected pleasure. After that headache with the sharks and Blackfoots, a lively tea time discussion about the abnormalities of the Ark's ecosystem was precisely what I needed. Goodness, I've managed to find an intellectual colleague that shares my love for the sciences. It saddens me to think that Miss Walker's charming colonial accident to keep her out of the more prestigious institutions and societies back home. Another of the Ark's wonders it is a true meritocracy, unlike any in the modern world. If Miss Walker and I could find and cultivate more minds like ourselves, we could create a True scientific utopia. So I I didn't get any um like levels from that one. I don't know if maybe my guy is maxed out now, my Thyla. But I would like to get this prime meat home before it spoils. not maxed yeah the prime me ooh purple drop that's that's a good one right champ purple pur you guys said purple red and gold right eyes open for some drops on the way back home that one has a ring too that means it's even extra better right 
preferable with a ring is extra better. Uh, Gilly Gauntlet and a Pelagornis Ascendant Saddle. Pel Pel Ascendant Pelagronis sal Saddle. I don't know what an, uh, a Pelagronis says. Are those gauntlets pretty good? They're Ascendant. 270 armor? Makes you want to play. Hey, Sneaky Reflex, I'm glad you're enjoying them, man. No, and I and I really appreciate you all. Like, uh, and it's not even like the game itself, chat. It literally all of you guys have like brought so much. Like, you guys have put the love in me for this game. You know what I mean? Um, and I think it's the fact that you guys love it so much just really showed me like how you know I really wanted to dig into it. On the surface, you know, I might have just looked at it as, a, a, oh, it's just another survival game. But no, there's there's so much to this game. It's crazy. And like I said, this is just the starter map. And from what I've seen in that video, I was like, some of those other maps make the it makes it look like a completely different game. So I, I'm just I'm just excited to really dig into this and see what this game has to offer. My dogs are so weird, chat. Well, I'm playing the maps in order. Uh, so whatever the order is, um, that that's how I'm playing them currently. Might be a Rex. Yeah, a beat up Rex, though. Or is that an alley? Can't tell. I think it's a Rex. Level 10 female. So even what if, so the blue drops even if it has a ring around it should I still be hitting it up? Oh, uh, or not because it just disappeared. This is my Rex hunting spot, so... Any better... Any, every drop is better than no drop. Yo, that is actual facts. I gotta, I gotta get it into my mindset. Because, you know, I'm, I'm used to playing, like, crafting, you know... But the best gear in the game 
you're not going to you're not going to craft you're going to get from drops either alpha monster drops or um yeah alpha dino drops or you know the 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 air drops boss drops cave drops things like that right i'm not going to get the best stuff from crafting Hard. Almost as hard as my RG. You want to be any otters over here, right, chat? Oh, crap from blueprints. I forgot about the blueprints. Yeah, 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 yeah. But technically, you still got to get the blueprints from drops. One way or another. It's not like you can craft high-tier blueprints, right? So one way or another, you're, you're getting it from drop. Sheep. Are sheep good for anything, chat? Other than, like, fur? Oh, so sheep give mutton chops. We gotta kind of hurry up though, because I had a... Got all this fish and prime meat on me? The hell? Yeah, I got a lot of fish and prime meat on me, and I didn't. I don't want it to go bad, but I'm pretty sure the prime meat's not gonna make it back to base. Yeah, no, just, let's at least make sure we can get the mutton chop back to base. Oh, okay. Maybe if we hurry up. No more stopping. We might be able to get back in time. Yeah. Now, like I said, I did install the game on Steam Chat, so we will be able to start playing with mods eventually. And um, I think somebody said that there was a... Hold on. First of all, B, thank you so much um, for the super chat. I do appreciate it. I'm playing along with you. You're doing much better. B, I appreciate the super chat. And I appreciate... Um, I don't know if I'm doing better. <laughs> uh, but I, I appreciate the thought either way. Um, and uh, Granny, thank you for the super chat. Only food better for tame that mutton is kib kibble. Got you. I want to get this home. Um, but yeah, so we'll be able to start playing with mods, but like I said, I might off stream, because I don't know if you guys want to, I might off stream try to replicate my current save using uh, a combination of the console commands and um, the creative mode. Um, I might try to replicate my save. I don't, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to sit here and watch that. Uh, so that might be something I, I do off stream.
I can, and I seen that so I can transfer the save. I, I gotta I gotta look into how that works. Transferring the save from Epic to Steam, it might literally be that simple as just copy paste the save file into the Steam save file. Um, and if it is that simple, then hey, we're, we we beat the game, chat. But we'll have to see. Okay, here we go. Let me grab... Start with the Prime Meek, that shit's about to go bad, like... Right now? Okay, let's go ahead and get this fired up. Oh no, it's literally spoiling right now, Jet. So much, it's literally just spoiling as I'm putting it in. Still so frustrating. Alright, it's all, at least we got the mutton. Here we got the fish. Pawns of mine. Holy crap. Whoops. this out for right now to just do the mutton. Oh, Jerry, brother. Holy crap. Thank you so much. That is a huge super chat, man. Um, go to 316. You will find around 10 piles of silica pearl. The shallow stream south facing the snowy island. Just follow the stream. At least the west. No scuba gear needed. Yeah, my, that's pretty close to my base, that area. So let's drop this in here. Boom, boom. The rest of what we needed for that. I don't know if I should be putting our fur in here. Seems like a lot of the stuff that we need fur for we can craft in the smithy. Guys, you aren't lying. This grill is freaking next level. Cooked fish. Oh, we, oh, look at this. We're gonna be eating like some champions now. Now, I don't know, should I be eating, eating the, uh... The mutton, or using the cooked mutton for, uh... Should I be using that for taming? I 
Keep some raw mutton. I don't know how much... I mean, the thing about it is my taming times are so low that, like... But, I mean, it would be crazy to, like, fast taming with my taming times. Yeah, my taming times are already pretty fast, so with that, we'd be, be like, lightning speed. Alright, let's go throw the saddle upstairs. Okay, so let's see. I think I... Well, I think I have everything I need. What? what? For our potion, right? It was... We got the mushrooms, we got the flowers, the thatch, the stems. Okay. Let me see, what else was it? I think we needed some... Where the hell is it at? There it is. Okay, so we needed cooked prime meat, which that didn't work out too well. Um, so we gotta get cooked prime meat, which I can go out and farm right now. Mushrooms, we needed mijo berries and a water skin. We are almost there, chat. So I come here, I got a water skin. Boom. Uh, I thought I grabbed two stacks of a hundred. I guess I didn't. Now, does the water skin have to have water in it? Oh, the canteen works? Okay, never mind then. I thought I thought the I thought the it was to put the potion in. Um not like using the water for the cooking it's or the crafting itself. I I, I imagine like that's where all of that shit went, but now it makes sense. Okay, so we got that. Boom, 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 boom. Got our canteen. Mijo berries, stems. What else do we need? Oh, the, the cooked prime meat. Okay. So drop the cement paste in here. <coughs> Excuse me, chat. Well, we got hide. Um, this crap can go outside. That can go downstairs. Drop the pearls in there. Drop the oil in there. Goes downstairs, downstairs. Probably turn off my uh, stove too. So I have two Alpha Raptor claws, which is awesome. Nope, actually, I was still cooking up some more meat, but we could we could leave it off for right now. You know what? Screw it. 
Cook up the rest of the meat, dude. Cook it up. So we got all of our metal done up here. Perfect. Except that. Now, let's see here. So, we're going to take our buddy out here. We're going to go get this prime meat. Just need one of those big, like, brontos, right? Pickle chicken won't get prime meat, I don't think, right? I do have two of these by my base. What the hell, chat? That was level 15. That was level 45. Oh, tickle chickens actually give prime meat? Let me start with this low level, because I was thinking about taming that 45. Well, they do. Not very much, but... A couple pieces. I was hoping we had a big Bronto or something down here. I could have just eviscerated, but nothing close. I'll just go kill that other tickle chicken. Even though I kind of wanted... a lot of damage. You forget about that chat. Four pieces? Was he eating it? <laughs> he was eating it? <laughs> oh, man. Of course he was. Yeah, I needed... Uh, so I do have some cooked prime meat. Not enough, though. I believe I needed 24 pieces. Uh, I got 12 there, plus 4. We're at 16. And I need... Yeah, we need 24 pieces of cooked. So... Still got a bit more I have to farm up. I'll just grab the RG, cover more ground. My bad, dude. Well, the prime meat I need for a recipe. That's that's why I'm specifically hunting the prime meat.
Oh yeah, the alphas definitely give give out tons of prime meat. That's for sure. I see those big brontos everywhere, chat, when I'm not little Ooh, Steg, Steg gives prime meat, right? Not much prime meat, though. Let's see if maybe we can find something down here. So at least the RG's eating the raw meat and not the prime meat in my inventory. What about a mammoth? Will a mammoth get prime meat, chat? Resistor. Took so much effort to kill. He doesn't even get prime meat. RG's really low level. I see a man, uh, mammoth over in the woods there. RG skip prime. Yeah, I just got to make sure I'm being careful and not getting too close. Oh, we got to make sure we get the prime that we do have back to base. We'll hit this mammoth and head back. Or not. That mammoth is actually gone.
Those things are vicious, chat. What the hell? Might just take what we got and head out, chat. While we while we're ahead. There we go. Be good now. Oh, so you guys are saying so you can you can use cooked mutton in place of prime meat for the the mind wipe? Because it definitely does not say that on the Dodex. Have I found a Giga yet? No. The Silica's here. So what, this water here? Oh, right here. Got it. Uh, McDeet, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, send some instructions on Discord General how to move the epic single player to Steam. Awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, if that's possible, then. That's definitely what we'll do uh, come next episode. Send some instructions on Discord hash well, general McD, dash chat how to chat. move the epic single player save to Steam winking face. Now the rainbow drop, is that a good drop? Or is that just like the, is that the lowest level drop? No, I think the white one is, right? White or green? Yeah, I'm making a mind wipe potion right now. Um, just so I can get my stats fixed. Oh, the rainbow one's the basic one? Got you. Uh, no, Ghost of Tsushima is not today. We'll be playing State of Decay today. Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, I got something here. Mind Wipe Tonic. Look at that, chat. I actually got the recipe for the Mind Wipe Tonic. Get out of here, man. That's crazy. Right, I'm gonna cook this. The best luck that I have with finding otters on the island is at 7068. Follow that the stream north. I am looking at three of them on my map right now. 
76 th- uh, Jerry, first of all, that is a huge super chat. You did not have to do that, man. And uh, I really appreciate that. I, I got to get one of them little dudes for sure. Holy crap, Jerry. I, I really appreciate that, man. Drop this in here. Grab that. Yeah, I can't believe we just got that. That's crazy. Keep that raw. Okay, so now we got the cooked prime meat. We were kind of over that way, too, earlier, Jerry. That's a crazy thing. All right, there we go. So... Me, got the berries, we got that, we got that, 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 and the... Um, so now I add the water, right? So I just put the whole canteen in there like this. And then light it up. Drop that in there. Happy with the amount of food we have, though. We're definitely killing it now, chat. We cook food. Oop. I always think that. Oh, what was this? There it is. Mind wipe tonic. Now, you guys said that Mind Wipe also wipes your Ingrams, too, right? Which is a little less awesome. So before I drink that, I'm going to go ahead and... So it's good for, what, four days? So we don't have to worry about that spoiling right now. Yeah, it's the only super unfortunate part is wiping the ingrims, but... Okay, so we won't need food for... Ever. With all that shit cooking up. But granted, it will spoil, so it's not like it's actually good forever, but... We shouldn't have to worry about food for a really long time. Alright, now, next thing we need to craft, chat. We got our Mind Wipe Tonic, we're set there, uh, this chemistry station. So, the electronics that I acquired... ...is still not enough, but I have enough... I got a bunch of the Silka Pearls, right? So... For electronics. Yep, we can do a bunch of these. So let's say 63 of those going. Let's 
So we got those coming up. We'll be able to get the chemistry station going. Which the chemistry station is just an upgraded version of the, the mortar, right? Which would be nice. Let's see, what else can we craft here? So, the generator chat, if I were to build a generator, does the generator replace having to use fuel in things like the, the, uh, you know, the fabricator, the, the, the oven, can I run power to those instead? Or do, is there s specific things that require power? The fabricator still needs gas. Okay. Damn, chemistry bench, you need... Okay, so we got to do a generator first, then. That's fine. Um, and then we can look at getting the refrigerator, too, right? So I'll get this generator going, and then I'll get the refrigerator going. Ten. Ten. Yeah, I want to do some power cables. Yeah, we'll get it figured out. We'll get it. We'll get it situated. But I'm pretty sure the refrigerator is going to be quite a big upgrade compared to the uh, preservation box over there. Okay, so we'll have those two done. And then for the outlets, we need wood. And the cable is just metal. I should put the generator outside. Nah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Why just literally throw it right here in this corner? Or actually, yeah, we'll just throw it right here in the corner. Let's move this, dude. So, outlet, place, so what does the outlet have to snap to? Does it snap to the generator itself?
Jenny first. Got it. Okay, so it is pretty big. Um... How do you rotate shit again? Nope. Not Q. Not E. Can you not rotate these? Oh, I gotta probably place it first, right? We can go to K camera though. K cam. Nope, I guess you're not. You gotta place and rotate this one. So let me see. Probably run it like this then. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Looks good, chat. Alright, so now we got the generator down. Let's go ahead and get our outlet. Or do I gotta do a wire? Wire first, got gotcha. you. I didn't know if I... I wanted to pick the Jenny up because I wasn't sure if I placed it on the wrong side or something. Let's place this like... So... Okay, then we'll place a wire. Mm. So it has to connect to this back part, right? So if that is the case, I will have it placed the same way I had it the first time. So the wire connects to that side piece. Okay, boom. And then I'll place the... So, is that, with the outlet here, chat, does it, is it like an AOE thing? Kind of like the, the feeding box, like it just like creates an area, anything within this circle gets power? Or do I have to like run shit from... Okay, so it, it's like an AOE? Perfect. Well, then I'll place that there. Now, I wonder if I could see... So if I put the fridge here, that's for sure going to get powered by that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make sure uh, the generator always, especially because I'm gonna have the refrigerator now. Gotta make sure that definitely has fuel in it. And uh, I'm happy the fuel actually lasts quite a bit. Split five off of here. That will go in there. And then the rest of our fuel for now will go in here. Now, I can craft up some more fuel, which I actually might do right now. Um, grab a stack of oil and a stack of hides. Actually, I'm going to need a couple stacks of hides. Oil and hide.
powered. Perfect. This dropped in there. Ouch. That's cooking up metal. This is now going to cook up some fuel for us. Uh, Jayskin, thank you for the sub. I don't know how many hides I need. Forgot what it cost, but we'll, we'll just throw a couple stacks in there. We'll just have that going for a bit. We'll have a good bit of fuel cooked up. Um... So we're going to have plenty of gas for the now. Well, I mean, as, from what I feel, it's plenty of gas. I don't, I don't know what's actually considered plenty of gas. Let's see here. So the only other main item I haven't made yet would be the chemistry station, which I'm going to... We need more electronics. Uh, about 40 more electronics for that. which we need more pearls. So we could head out and go farm some pearls really quick. But I also want to see what it takes to make the shotgun ammo. Because I want, I want to test this shotgun out, chat. So for shotgun ammo, we just need simple bullets. Which require gunpowder and more metal. So for right now, that's full. I got my crossbow. We are going to grab some arrows. Just in case. I got my thyla. Got that. I'm going to go out and grab some of these pearls really quick. Um...
But before we do this, let's go ahead and use, uh... We'll use the mind wipe. So I can get my stats squared away. And then I'll just redo everything. Yes. Okay. So, for stats now, let's focus on... Wait. I'm gonna get my weight up to about 400. Okay, health. We'll go... 300. Melee damage. 175. We'll go fortitude. 30. Movement speed. 130%. And then we'll throw... I'll probably start... Yeah, we'll get a little bit of stamina. Alright, so... Now I gotta get all this crap again. I could probably actually just get the bigger stuff, and then it forces you to get the lower stuff anyways. Makes it like forces you to learn the prerequisites. Back pedestal. Pike, crossbow. Oh, right. I don't know why I grabbed that. Might actually craft me a full ghillies chat. We need to get some of the organic palmers. I, I didn't see any penguins either when we were up when we were up north. Yeah, probably starting at the bottom would be the best, because it would just automatically unlock all the prerequisites that I need. Um... Carcerarno. Don't know what the hell that is. Industrial Cooker. Cryo fridge. That's something we gotta look into. Industrial forge, compound bow, metal arrows. So is the vault, like, the advanced version of a storage chest? 
I didn't even see a gas mask. Is there a gas? Oh, gas mask? Yeah, I'll grab that. Absorbent, sulfate. Gas mask. 350 style, so we'll get the vault. Um. Oh, shrink spear bolt. So is this, I mean, can't you just use the crossbow? Okay, so for the rest of this stuff, we'll just wait, chat. If I need something, I'll just grab it as I need it. Uh, like, I know I'm going to need the shotgun shells. But yeah, as we need it, we'll just... We'll just learn it. Okay, so let's head up. Uh, see if we can get some, our hands on some more of these silica pearls. Turn that off so we're not wasting gas. Got our fridge going. Generator's good. Throw a little bit of extra fuel into Jenny just to feel better. Perfect. So I should be able to film. I always forget I have this here, chat. Being able to freaking drink water. And then I'll fill them up. There we go. take my fast flyer this time um, just because there's no reason for me to be in the RG for this. I want to fly as fast as possible. Yeah, I should have my can my canteen's here now. Yep, build up our canteen. Now the real Judy. It's been a while, dudes. Well, if I find an otter, I'll just get rid of this little dude. I, I honestly, I, I cleaned this dude on accident. I don't even know what the otters look like, though. They're little water squirrel things, right? Well, this flyer is so much faster. I wonder what the fastest flyers in the game feel like, chat. Like, would you guys say this is probably one of the fastest flyers in the game?
Okay, so this is the spot, right? That we were talking about where I could get the pearls. Yep. Okay, I see now. In the little clamshell looking things. Got it. This water's cold as shit, chat. See a bunch more down this way. You guys are back already? Kim! Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, can you make Spinal Roar for me? Is your favorite? Do this. Does the Spinal Roar? I know it's super OP though. Hey, yo, what, was that a level 110 saber tooth that I just ate yet? Or a level 10? Hey chat, Brian, can you make the Spino roar for me? He is my fave Spino. There it is, Cam. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because people told me I could turn off the screen shake, right? Screen shake. Where is that chat? Screen shake. First tab, right side. Camera shake scale. So, so is it this one? I just drag it all the way down to zero. It's boom like that. Okay, let's see. So I left my Thyla over there to protect my flyer. I'm absolutely 100% confident nothing is going to be able to kill my Thyla, so... Nothing over here, at least.
uh, plan on playing Genesis. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I plan on playing all of them, but I'm playing them in order. For the most, uh, I don't want to skip ahead and stuff. So, okay, so how many pearls did I get from that chat? How many pearls did we get? Almost four hundred. Mm. We we can head down on the other side and see if there's any more. Dude, this spino is. Would you guys say this spino is probably like a, a dino I could boss with? Got 10,000 health on him. Health is not good enough. Uh, health is good enough. I ate all the meat to, uh, because as you guys can tell, my my Spino's health is really low right now. So I was trying to get his health up. It's about all the pearls I can see here. There's more right there. Oh wow, they're all over the place up here. Oh, we're freezing the Oh, wow. Yeah, they're everywhere over here, chat. I got quite a few. Take what I got for right now. Now, do your dinos heal up at all while they're in the Pokeballs? Or, uh... Does it absolutely freeze them in time? Freezes them, that's what I thought. Okay, at least we know now where we can get the pearls from. Still got to get us a mag chat. Oh. 
with a deity on. Was that that? Was that that red that that dino I picked up in the snow bi biome there? That was I said was super vicious. The one I ate with the RG. I oh got okay. Tons of pearls. Alright, here we go. So... For the shotgun, um... We gotta do the simple bullets. For those, I just need some more, uh... Metal, which I got a bunch up here. all of those. I am very excited about the shotgun. I don't know why. Very excited, though. Okay, so now we're going to look at doing the chemistry station. Which we need a few more electronics for. Some electronics cooking up currently. Wow. Okay, so shotgun ammo is very expensive because you gotta make you gotta spend gunpowder to make the simple bullets. Then you gotta spend gunpowder again to make the uh, to make the actual shotgun shells themselves. Quite expensive, actually. How the hell do I set the artifact pedals? Is the reason why it doesn't show up yet? Oh, got you. Got it, yeah. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see. Chemistry station also requires more polymers.
Okay, so we need more obsidian also, chat. And then spark powder. So flint and obsidian. Flint and obsidian. Build a forge base on the mountain and right click your mouser for add. Uh, Chronic, thank you so much. Yeah, that's what that actually might be what we do right now, chat. We might fly over to the mountain and set up uh uh, a, f uh, a refining station. So what do I need for the forges, to craft forges? I just want to make sure I can get everything over there fairly easy. So I'll bring hide with me. I'll bring fiber with me. And I'll bring wood with me. Because we can get flint and stone over there. Fib fiber, hide, and wood, though, I'll bring. No, no, we're not jumping maps. We're um, we're gonna build a forge over near the mining spots. That way, I don't have to like keep transferring all this crap like all the way back. To, like I can just make my metal out there. So we got fiber, hide. And then, oh, we got it. Uh, and then wood. Actually, you know what? We could leave our Anki over here. I'm gonna have to get some type of walls though. We'll do like stone walls probably. Enclose the area. We'll leave allow our Anki to stay over there. That way we don't have to keep dragging them back and forth. There's shit everywhere, Chad. There's just literal feces everywhere. Okay, so I got fiber hide wood. I got food. I got water. I got my pick. Is that parasaur or something dangerous? Okay. Um... Foundations. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'd rather... I have some of those built, actually, instead of having to make them out there. We've got two foundations here. Um, I even got some... No, we'll see. Uh, grab these. I'm gonna, I'll, have, I'll make some more foundations when we get out, when we get there. So we'll grab some thatch. A couple more fibers.
All right, we'll drop these guys. Don't need them. Uh, I'm going to bring my Anki. I will put him in a cryo. We'll bring him over there, and then... Hmm. Yeah. You know what, chat? While we're out doing this... I also want to set up a, a, a nice farm real quick on these two. We're going to set up a charcoal farm on those two forges. Before I leave. So we're going to take Lando out really quick. Go get a bunch of wood. That way, because we're going to be out for a while, you know what I mean? While that's happening, we'll have our base cooking up. Because I need, I need lots of gunpowder. Um, so we're going to need a bunch of charcoal. Yeah. So I got a couple hundred charcoal, but it's, it's not enough for what we need. So let's grab Lando. We'll go farm up a bunch of wood really quick. Only take a minute. So yes, well, I can't... I gotta get spark powder, but I need flint. That's one of the main things that we're heading out here to get to is flint. Yeah, we're gonna be bringing um, flint back with us. Frequency, yeah, I did see that. That should be a good bit right there. Yeah, we're gonna be, we're bringing our Anki over. We're gonna suck him up in a little ball. We're gonna fly our RG over, and we'll start setting up this uh, this metal farm. Okay, so we're just going to turn that all into charcoal. Those two will be uh, cooking us up some charcoal while we're gone. 
We're going out. We're going to get a bunch of metal flint or metal base set up. Farm up a bunch of flint for the chemistry station. Still no otter though, chat, unfortunately. So the point of, for me, uh, for having the metal farm, uh, just to explain for people like, what, what's the metal farm for, is for me, right now I go out and I get metal. And just the trip out and the trip back, it's very, very far, you know what I mean? Uh, because of where my, my base is. So I figure if I go out there, I set up a bunch of for forges, you know what I mean? Like a bunch of forges. Um, I can literally farm and cook the metal right there, make everything, then just load up my my RGs or whatever and fly back. Instead of having a, you know, go grab a little bit, come back. Go grab a little bit, come back. Go grab a little bit. I can just do it all right there. Because, um, you know, just for the, uh, just for the industrial forge, that's 2,500 um, things of metal. That would, like, that's like, just back and forth, that's like, what, four trips? Because um, I think I got about 400, 400, 500 metal out of one trip with one RG. So, we got all that. I am going to bring you with me. All right, let's do it, chat. We're good. Now, can I still load stuff on the RG even though he doesn't have a saddle on him? Oh, I forgot my Anki. Thank you for reminding. That would have been annoying. Um, but can you uh, can you load up, or, or is it is it the saddle that really really helps the RG? better than no Anki. Let's do it. And who knows, since we're over there, we might even be able to get more than one Anki. Because we're gonna we're gonna leave this little base. We're gonna leave our Anki there. Um, I might just store them in the in the in the ball and then make like a chest and then store the ball the ch you know what I mean? But we can keep our Ankies plural over here, you know what I mean? If we can find a better one. Would like to find a better one. I'm trying to think of where the best place for this base would be. Thinking, may I was thinking at first, maybe on the foot side of the mountain, or the volcano, or maybe we should go to Metal Mountain, chat. What do you think? Metal Mountain or Volcano? I feel like Metal Mountain has more metal, and easy it's more open. And uh, thank you guys for over 800 likes on the stream.
Well, Metal Mountain's quite far, but it'd be nice to have a little outpost on this side of the map, because I really don't have anything on this side of the map. Um, so this is cool. See a red drop. Might have despawned. Oh, I see it right there. Did it touch down already? Damn, this is a pretty good metal mountain right here, chat. Is this not a good spot? Some Rex over here, too. Another white Rex. I gotta get Stan. Hey, chat, where am I? Oh, damn. I gotta get Stan really quick, chat. Let's go get that drop once we get some stamina. <laughs> Hold on one sec, chat. Foundations remove spawn points for plant. Yeah. There's a thylo right there. So you guys think, should we use this mountain chat or should we use the other one that's way over that way? This one's a bit closer to my base, but it seems like it's in a more dangerous area. But we do have a lot of trees here. But I feel like there was more metal at the other one. Yeah, let me check that drop. So what was that? Ascendant Gilly Leggings. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, it's a good spot, chat. Probably build right on this little flat here. Scout the place out. So, plenty of metal around here. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I see some people talking about a tree, uh, tree. T I don't know what a tree platform is. Is Ark worth buying for sure? It's very cheap and it has a whole lot of uh, whole lot of content. I guess we could try to figure out how to do a tree. So I, I don't know what you guys mean by a tree base, though. Like, I could just build in a tree. Let me see. All right, you you need to stop following me, dude. For like, Come here. All right, Ingram's tree. Oh, man. Yeah, that's way too much, chat. No, that's way too much. 600 cement paste, fibers, 200 ingots. That's a, that's crazy. Yeah. It's going to be a little more humble. Um, I, I see what people are saying, though. But So it, does if I build, like, over here, the metal's not going to respawn, like, within, like, a certain radius of my base? Or just, like... Only right where the platforms are. Oh, it's AOE. So we could build down there instead. Still re really, really close to the mountain. But we won't have to worry about...
not as flat as one would want, but... Might be able to make it work. Alright, let's try this out. Uh... I might actually do the pillars chat. Cause then I could make it all even, right? Stone that's wood. We gotta go out and get a <clears throat> some stone now. Pillars don't block spawn? Really? We barely got any stone from that, like, at all. Anki is not good for harvesting stone. <laughs> That's for sure. I'd have been better off chopping that shit with my hatchet. Pillars with ceilings on them block spawns. Stone thatch and wood. Yeah, my dote is back at base, but I, I didn't come here to mine a bunch of stone, so it's fine. And plus, like I said, uh, my hatchet's doing a pretty decent job. Yeah, so I see people saying. Uh, now the thing is, is even I did my my Anki's carry weight, right? Even if I if I did increase my Anki's carry weight, um, my RG can hold a decent bit. Like it's not like I didn't get its weight up. Like the RG holds almost twelve hundred, but the RG flies so slow. My base is so far away. Literally, we just like 
slow fly back to base. So I can only transport a tiny bit at a time. Get a you guys gotta I'm a noob I don't know how to get no quets <laughs> I'm pretty sure for people who know how to play the game that, that's that's no challenge whatsoever I don't even I don't need I wouldn't even know where to start trying to get one of them big ass birds okay so we're gonna build on top of this. All right. Now, the thing with the pillars is how do I keep it even? It, so we do like one pillar and so what goes on the pi tell, pillars do I, I do I put another foundation on top of the pillar or do we do uh like wh wh what is the flooring going to consist of on top of the pillar Ceilings, okay. We got it more. So it'd be like that, right? All right, let me get some more stone. I think I, I think I got it. Now sealing that out and the pillars will snap. Where do I want to go with this? So we're going to go this way. One there. Can I break this stone? Nope, that's cosmetic. Okay. And then... Like so. Okay, yeah, this is going to work out nice. It's gonna work. I got I got plenty of space. Plenty of space. So we don't have as much stone here as I originally thought. A lot of this is cosmetic. I'm 
I'm surprised how much that one pillar chat could support. You see what I'm saying? Like, I did not think that it would it, that one pillar was going to be able to hold that many foundations. Uh, Olga and uh, Velo, thank you for the subs. Pretty expensive woodwise. A lot more expensive than I originally planned on chat. A lot more expensive than I originally planned. Okay, so we can come off it this way. Right? And then so when the hell do I got to place another pillar? So would I place a pillar like here under this one? Plop this down and then put another pillar under it? Or do you got to place the pillar first? How does that work? Uh, where you at pillars? What the hell is that? So the pillar snaps to it, chat, but it, it comes out of the top of it. <laughs> It snaps. I was pressing Q. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't like go to the the bottom. It, it just stays. Try to first person it. No, yeah, it snaps, but it just boom, like halfway. Right there. All uh, right. Nope, still, okay, I mean, it comes out a little bit. I mean, I'm okay with it sticking up a little bit. It looks a little dumb, but yeah, it works. Okay, so that's all we needed to do. Yeah, a little bit is fine. We're good with that. Let's get some more stone, and we're eventually going to have to go get some more wood, too. Okay, so we're going to do... Let's see here. I'm actually going to have to go down and get some more wood. But oh, what is that, my shoulder? It's like a little shoulder pet, dude. Yeah, he's, he's legit. 
And guys, thank you for almost 900 likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. My little, I, let me see. Is this dude starving? Let's say he should. He has some berries in his inventory. Let's let him live his best life, I guess. So now, I want to go back a little further. I got to pillar this one. Like that, right? And then that should allow me to build a little bit further back. Yep, perfect. Awesome. So, I mean, this is a pretty good... I feel like this is way big. Probably way bigger than I, than I even need. But it works. So let's go ahead and get some 4Gs built. Oh, let's see here. Forge, forge, forge. Hide. Uh, we need more stone. We got a fiber... So we got to go out and get some stone, and we'll be good. Margie's on a neutral. Not scared of redwoods anymore. Nah, not not as much as I used to be. I mean, granted, I'm not in the woods though. You know, I'm in the I'm in the clearing. <laughs> We're in the clearing, so I, I can't say and claim, you know, my redwoods confidence. I don't have a good stone gathering team with me. My dode is back at base. I didn't I didn't think this far ahead when it came to actually gathering stone, but the hatch is doing pretty good. It's not like it's really taking me all that long. Nope. If I had a dode, I mean would have been what, maybe a minute faster? Two minutes maybe?
should be enough for right now. Um, we're gonna empty them out and then uh, go get wood. Actually, you know what? How much? How much can more can he hold? Plenty more. Let's take them now. Okay, so this is gonna be a little more sketch. So I gotta go down to the danger zone and get some uh some wood. Silos will only be on those really, really, really thick trees, right? Okay. We got enough wood. Yeah, the, the Tylers are no jokes. Yeah, those things are... They're the real deal. Wait, somebody said they can't... What? Thylos can't dismount you off of a uh, Spino? <laughs> Alright. So we're going to go ahead and craft up some walls here. Chat, hold on one sec. Oh, a stego. Man, so maybe I should get a stego to help farm my, uh, or, or collect my thylas. We can get a super tanky stego, right? And then go around and just, like, stay mounted on the stego and just trank up the thyla. Well, you know what I mean? The stego just tanks damage. Because then I won't be able to be dismounted. Stegos are slow. Oh, you can't shoot from a stego.
Just get a gra- I have a grapple hook! I don't know how to use it. How the hell can you tame a Thylo with a grapple hook? What, so you just grapple a tree and you just hang and just shoot? What if they, they just stand below you and they can't get up to you? That That's pretty... That's a top tier sounding strat right there, chat. <laughs> just sitting there dangling. What the hell? Why does that look so little? I guess it's good. It looks so... I don't know why. It just looked little. I gotta build some like stairs or something to help me get up in here. Or no, that works. Not the smoothest thing in the world, but definitely gonna want to build some stairs, chat. Or yeah, like a ramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ramp would probably even be better. The stone GG cap lock stone ramp, or is it just a regular ramp? Wooden ramp or a metal ramp? So, okay, we'll just do the wooden ramp. I was like, dude, I have no fibers. Okay, it's pretty ghetto, but it works. It works, Chad. That's all that matters. Should have built a uh, a dino gate, but I actually might reconstruct this and build a dino gate just so I could bring my dinos in through the door, Chat. You know what I mean? Because I feel like this is gonna get annoying. Well, I could use cryopods, but say I come back with my, my dino full of metal, all right? I don't want to have to stand here at the door and, like, you know, go back. I, I just want to walk the dino in to where I need and, uh, and not have to worry about it. So let me see.
Oh, this won't freaking snap there, will it? Well, it kind of feels snapped. Actually. No, it's definitely not snapped at all. Let me see. Get rid of this. There we go. Boy, fixed. Damn it. Put it backwards, chat. I put it backwards. It's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. Like, it's actually going to bother me, but it's fine. It's really not fine, chat. It's going to be so annoying. Every time I look at it. Yeah, I'll be playing some State of Decay later on. Realistically, if I wanted to, what the hell? Uh, if I wanted to be nice and cheap, um, oh, it's gonna overlap. I could just fill this with like pillars. Yeah, I can't have this. We can't have this overlap. No, it's gonna look so ugly. We're going to have to have the overlap, chat. We're going to have to... Ah, oh, it's so bad. You know what? No, no, I can't. I can't. Screw it, chat. Screw it! <laughs> I can't do it. It's going to really bother me, so I got to make sure that... I at least eliminate as much of the ugliness as possible. Screw it. Alright, so big dino gate, we need stone thatch wood. I was like, please have some more thatch. Should fit now. I was being the cheap, a cheap skate check because I already already built it and I, I wanted to just leave it. But now I get to spin it and make sure it's facing the right way. There is that. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's perfect. No. 
Why would it let me rotate the door, chat? Like, you can only place it from the one direction. It's so annoying. There we go. I can live with that. I can live with that. Three walls high should keep anything dangerous out. Because I've seen you guys saying I can't build roofs, right? I know I could have used fence foundation sap, but that would have just been that would have just been uh, more stuff I had to craft. You know what I mean? And we're already on a budget. We're building on a budget. So we just we just eyeballed it. Came out came out good enough. Uh, let me see. Reinforced dino gate, stone thatch. Wouldn't. Oh, no. Oh, I can build a roof? I thought you guys said if I built a... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Something about stuff not respawning or whatnot. There. Like, just for cosmetic purposes, chat. <laughs> I gotta put another ramp. I can't, I can't only have, like, granted, I don't need to, but I need to. The one, yeah, the one ramp is, 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 is not cutting it. I can't, I can't, I can't handle it. It's too much. There we go. So at least it looks symmetrically busted, right? It looks symmetrically terrible. <laughs> Symmetry is key. Uh, we're going to need more stone, I believe, right? Yeah, for sure going to need more stone. Got more than enough wood. But we're gonna need to load up on a bit more. Let's see how many more walls I can at least get out of what I have. Like I've come a long way, Chet, since uh, since my thatch base in in the middle of the uh, of the woods there. Definitely come a long way. All right, let's go get some more stone. I see you guys say place a bed for fast travel. Um, what are you guys referring to? Like dying and then spawning somewhere else? Because the only problem with that is I won't be able to, I still won't be able to move with my dinos. You drop everything. Oh, okay. 
But uh, yeah, so I won't be able to bring dinos or, or, or resources or anything with me, which kind of... Still a good plan, though. I'm well, I gotta set up a, a bed up here anyways, chat. Yeah, we gotta get a bed set up anyways. Level muppy shits. We should have more than enough now. It's so much better to having a higher carry weight. Like I, that mind potion and this higher carry weight is. It was probably the best freaking thing we could have done. It's so good, so so good. No, I, I could see the I could see the, the 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 benefit of the fast travel now. Yeah, you know, if I just want to go back and forth, like, all right, let me go mine up some stuff. Boom, travel over here, do what I got to do, and then travel back instead of having to fly back and forth. I, I, I see the benefit of it for sure, Chuck. I'm picking up what you what you guys are putting down. Go ahead and get some more walls placed here. I felt like three high was plenty good. I don't know why I went three high, but mainly to show out chat, I guess. Okay, perfect. The perfect amount. Now we just need some ceilings in this place. And probably some wall torches because it's going to be dark. But All right, let's do some ceilings up, which I think we're going to need more thatch. Yeah, for sure going to need more thatch. Got to make sure this RG has some food. Not bad. Eight, almost 900 uh, thatch set from one tree. It's pretty good. Come on. 
Listen. Listen. Yeah, this was a super pickaxe, too. I what rank is the blue? It was a journeyman? Apprentice? Well, well it doesn't sound as cool. Probably gonna actually need more stone, but it is let's see seven there. Five more. That's twelve. I think we're gonna need sixteen or seventeen. Cause we got that one uneven little part there. Yeah, I won't be leaving any animals here unattended. The only animal, or the only uh, dino that we're leaving here is going to be our Anki. And he's going to be in a, um, in a cryopod. Just so it's less I have to micromanage. We need more stone. <laughs> Alright, start with the 12 roofs. Oh, shoot. No, we might need like 22, actually. 20 something freaking ceiling pieces. Well, the only thing is, though, I needed to go four walls high just to freaking meet this gate. So it's going to look a little silly, chat. But it'll be alright. Just a freaking resource base, right? Come on, stop it. What am I getting stuck on? You stop following me. Well, I'm gonna have... Can I do... Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. That's fine. It's not beautiful, but it's, it's good enough. Definitely gonna need at least sixteen more. All these resources just to get the building made, chat. I didn't expect the building to be this uh, intricate. You know, it was supposed to just be like a a meh little building that we that we threw a bunch of forges in, and now it's damn near on the caliber of my main base. Look at this thing. It's way above the line of. It's above the uh, well, above and beyond the line of duty.
Yeah, my character feels just so much better now with that the new carry weight. I can, I can hold more than two stacks of stone. Three platform? No, Gabor. That that thing required like cementing paste, like 200 metal ingots. I didn't even have that. Like we would have had to gone and crafted that shit. It would have took forever to even acquire all of that. Very. It was a very very expensive investment. Like this was expensive. Uh, it was a pretty expensive investment also, but at the same time, I was able to do it for a, a, a decent price, at least, you know what I mean? For what I had on me, or for, for what we have in base, you guys remember, chat, I'm, I'm poor. I'm very poor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do ceilings, which we're going to need stone thatch wood. We got, we got, you know, you got to, we got to compare cost, you know, because that I was looking at the the tree, the tree house, and it's just like, at first I don't, I don't even know how big this is, but yeah, the two hundred ingots, sixteen hundred wood, uh, six hundred fibers, and then six hundred cement paste. Like that would have been almost half of my, all my cement paste that I have back at base for crafting. You know what I mean? Just to build a platform. To build on like it's so expensive so the wood is easy yeah the wood's easy i'm more or less worried about the ink the metal that's 200 metals pretty expensive and then 600 cement paste was probably the most the most uh painful part of the whole thing but the 10k stone i got for free out here you know what i mean Cement paste is hard to get come across. Like I either got to get it from a beaver dam, or I got to craft it. Um, and then crafting it is not cheap. So all in all, stone is a free resource for the most part. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, go out there. You see how easy it was for us to get the stone. All right, so now we got that done. Now let's look at actually crafting up the forges. Um, and that is going to require... I believe we need our hides for this. And fibers.
Really, RG? How are we so poor with wood, chat? What happened to all that wood? That's crazy. I had I felt like I had so much wood. I'm like, yeah, we're good, Jet. It's all gone. I felt like I had more than enough wood. I was uh more than wrong. So we'll start off with these five, get these placed. That's why I am a fan of this location, because we got trees close by. Compared to if we would have went to that other spot, I feel like we would have been uh, hurting a lot more on the tree front. Oh, we will be building an industrial forge uh, eventually. I got to get the metal. Um, so that's why we're kind of getting these regular forges going for a bit. Um, and then once we get the reg regular forges set up, then we're going to go and get ourselves an industrial. But we got to start with uh, the regular ones, work our way up to the industrial. 2,500 metal, that, that's, that's going to be uh, it's gonna be a lot. Damn it. Oh, farmed a little too much. So I was wondering if I should use thatch in the forges, but now that I'm like, nah, I think I'd be better off if we did use wood. Cause then we can we can we can double up and use this as a uh also a farm for charcoal, you know what I mean? So we can farm both uh, charcoal and metal at the same time. RG's getting pretty full. Yep, he's full now. Is he gonna be able to follow me though? Really did. A level 90 tech rex, chat. <laughs> what do you think? It's all right.
I gotta drop some of this crap. We got too much. Huge upgrade. I'm trying to think how we get it though. Like, how do I go ahead and get that Rex? Because my trap is on the other side of the forest. Unless I built a trap over here. So I'd have to probably build a trap here in order to get it. Uh, you can trap it in four dino gates. I could, I could crap four dino gates right now. Do I need ramps though? So what do we do? Dino gate, dino gate, dino, like f a square of dino, four dino gates. A ramp, have it walk up and it falls in. Place three, then run it in and place the fourth. That sounds sketch, chat. <laughs> oh. Lisa, why are you flying so far away to land? Like, she's trolling the shit out of me right now. Well, the problem is, is I, I don't even have the stuff to tame that right now. I, I, I would have to go back to base to get all my, my taming equipment. Um, so th there is that. And we would need a lot more stone. Yeah, I, I would have to head back to, to, um, to base anyways. Okay, so what do we need for this? Uh, hide and fibers.
Yeah, I mean, I, I really would like to get my hands on that Rex, though. That 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 thing is that's goals right now, chat. That's like real goals. I don't have any Trank stuff on me right now. That's why I said I, I, I got to fly back to base if I do want to make that. Or if we do want to catch it. Quite a bit of forages, right? Would you guys consider this a pretty decent area for, or a pretty decent setup for your initial? All right, let's look at what we need to craft a bed. Fiber, hide, thatch, wood. Get some storage here so I can empty out my RG. And I'll fly back to base and try to get my hand. Uh, I'll try to get my, my, my stuff. I've tamed T-Rexes before without anything. Um, without trapping them. So we got that. So I'm thinking I might just be able to just run around and just keep shooting them. Or I could grapple. We could try the grapple hook. Yeah, that, that would be a, a legit thing to try to. I do got some grapples. So I'm saving this wall for my industrial forge. That, that wall should be big enough for the industrial forge, right, chat? It's not tall enough? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Alright, well, maybe we'll, we'll... We'll have to expand, I guess, at some point for the Industrial Forge. Jesus, not tall enough. Maybe we'll eat away at the back wall here and push push it back, but... We're, we're not worried about that right now, then. Let's get our beds down. We'll, we'll, we're at the build an expansion for the industrial forge. All right.
Seriously. Plenty of storage. Let's start getting these guys emptied out. So this flint is coming back to base with me. That's going to go on the other RG. Thinking about... So like I may, might leave this RG here. I need to get a saddle for it. Oh, I do have the... How many did I need, though, for the RG saddle? Was it 50 or 150? Hundred and fifty. Well, that could stay. That's got to go back to base. Metal separate. More building stuff because we are going to be building stone in here. This is all going to go on the RG. Now I'm going to take the wood and actually I'm going to load these up in the furnaces. Now does each stack of wood last longer than like uh, thatch or, or does it not matter? Is it like the same burn time? Because I was like... I feel like I was burning through that 200 thatch like it was nothing. And thank you guys for a thousand likes. I really do appreciate it. Would last longer? Okay, that's what I was hoping. Make sure this is all good. Two stacks. I do got a little bit of metal here, so no reason to not have it cooking up. Throw that in there. Let that go. Got our beds down. We got this. We are good to go. Let's grab him. Oh, 
Uh, Casa, thank you so much for the mem gifted member. Thank you, thank you. Man, I appreciate that, brother. And uh, whoever receives that membership, welcome to the family. Okay, so that is good. Scout really quick. See if that Rex is still down here. Yep, there he is. Okay. So we have our mining outpost set up. Obviously, I still have to mine some, uh, I still have to mine, but I want to go back to base really quick, and let me drop off Anki, Mr. Anki, actually. I gotta get my RGs back. Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna fast travel. I do not want to leave my RGs here. But I will leave Mr. Anki here. These guys are going back to base. Now, I wouldn't mind having a RG for this area. That's why I might saddle up the yellow one. And I'll, I'll leave that RG here. Rob with the five gifted members. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate the support, chat. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Everybody who received one of those, welcome, welcome to the family. Am I going to try to complete all the story maps? Oh, yeah. Th that's the plan, Ghostly. That's the plan. I'm hoping that this Tech Rex is a uh, pretty deep. I mean, it's level 90, chat. That That's pretty That's pretty up there. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not a level 100. It's not, you know, 150. But I feel like for Gant, like the low-level bosses, do you think I could, I could maybe... Even use that Rex for a low level boss. A loadout mannequin has 300 plus slots, really? Twenty of them? Yeah, what are these bosses made out of that? I need 20 T-Rexes. Th that sounds slightly excessive. Maybe I'm maybe I'm like underestimating what the bosses actually are. So are we talking like World of Warcraft raid boss type bosses like like Illidan? Or Arthas? I'll 
I'll smash on the Giga. I'll smash on a Giga chat. We've already talked about the Gigas. I got my, I got a shotgun. That's all we needed, chat. We got a shotgun and a T-Rex and a Spino. <laughs> we, we got this. So we needed spark powder, right, for the, uh... Was it spark powder that we needed for the chemistry station, or was it the actual flint stuff? I don't remember. I think it might have been the spark powder. Yeah, we just need 100 spark powder. And a lot more poly. So the crappy thing about it being spark powder is we need more stone. Even in the refrigerator, the mutton doesn't last very long. Tina's filled. Go ahead and eat. So we got that. Um, let's say just in case shit gets real, I will bring that with me. We'll have that to capture them. This should be more than enough shit to keep them, put them to sleep. Even though it's level ninety, I should be okay. That get the darts in it. These Ok, 
Okay, so the grappling hook is what we're going to try to do initially. Oh, that's going to be the initial plan. Try to grapple hook up to a tree. All I need is this hook, right? And we're, we're set. Yeah, I get, we could set. We could test the grapple hook, just so I have an understanding. I forgot how much it costs to craft, though. It wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't really all relatively. It wasn't all that cheap either. Let me see, grappling hook. Okay, just a little bit of cementing paste, actually. Not too bad. Fifteen grappling hooks! Wait, what do you mean? How long does one grappling hook last? Oh, so one last... So, I mean, I, we can craft up a couple extras just in case I miss. We got those. I'm feeling like like a true hero right now, chat. So the parachute jump while while using this jump while parachuting to. How do you activate the parachute? Yeah, I got a second crossbow. I've seen somebody say that once you use the crossbow, that crossbow's locked into grapple mode. So I got my. This will be my grappling hook crossbow. And then this will be my one to put him to sleep. Oh, so it has to be on the hot bar? Okay, thank you for letting me know, because if not, I would have, uh... We would have been, you know, free! Free falling! <laughs> Black! Um. <laughs> Just aim for the bushes. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good here, chap. Actually, I don't know how good we are, but I'm, I'm confident in my ability to mess this up. So, there's that. Okay, so we got plenty of stuff. 
plenty of stuff. This wreck should be no problem. Um, let me see. Do I got metal in here? Metal hide. Let me see if I can repair some of my stuff. Repair. Let's repair armor. So that's all good. Um, berries, we got meat, this, we got that. All right. Let's go pra let's go test out this grappling hook really quick. Okay, we'll try one of these trees over here. These look like kind of good training trees for what we're going to be using in the redwood. Okay. How do I reel this shit up? Cherry with the super chat, man. Just to give you an idea of what you'll encounter in boss fights, easiest boss game a broodmother has between... 324... Oh, Jesus. Left click? Ah! Oh. Wait. So I, how, how do I stay, like, locked in... At this height? So it just, it just keeps lowering me, chat. Oh, there we go. Kind of, maybe? No? What? Switch to another. Okay, so we're in the tree now, chat, right? Boom. T-Rex, ready in the tree. Boom. Like right here. Look at this raptor. It's like a tree stand. Switch to our other weapon. Skadoosh. Pink. Hit him. Boom. Nails him. All right. Now how do I get down? All right, let go, dude. There we go. All right. All right, so that'll work, chat. Breakfast time, baby. We're ready, chat. We are ready. Uh, so we're going to tame a Tech Rex right now. Super high level Tech Rex. Well, what I consider super high level. The rest of you guys are, hey, he's, he's all right. To me, he's, he's end game chat. End game. I don't even know if I should bring the RG though. Nah, I might bring Judy. Bring the Judes.
Jude's is gonna get hungry while we're out and about, so we'll grab her a stack of berries. I had a stack of inventory, but... There we go. Let's do it. It's game time! Judy's super close to overweight. I forgot how... I forgot how much these uh, flyers cannot hold. <laughs> he still flies faster than Anarchy, though. Oh, yeah, Judy does eat meat, right? Oh, that makes life easy. Well, you can hold on to the berries anyway, Judy. There you go. This right, I should have brought the damn RG. We'll fly around the side here, that way, we'll stay out of harm's way as much as possible. I believe the Tech Rex was a female, unfortunately. Like, I, I'm having a hard time finding, like, opposite sex dinosaurs. They're all, like, either all females or the males that we have found are all, like, just level five. <laughs> Drop the berries. Is it, is it weighing her down that much? The Judes. Hey, hey, or 10 pounds. Holy crap. So tech can't mate with normal, right? And I want to thank you guys again for over a thousand likes on the stream. You guys are awesome. Uh, my raw mutton went bad. Yeah, it, it expired in the fridge. So, yeah. Now we're just out here with the cooked meat again. Depending on the situation, though, around the, the wrecks when we get them, um, I can, that's why I brought my other wrecks, so I can... Uh, I can farm up some prime meat while he's down there. Payman. Ooh. What's this? Why are you so close to my base? Level 10 male Rex, really. Isn't that right near where my base is, chat? You. Level 10 Rex equals prime. Well, the only problem is, uh... I don't have anything to kill the Rex with unless I use my other Rex, but... Let me locate this tech Rex, chat. It's all good. I'm not too worried about it, guys. Like I said, I got decently high taming rates anyways with the single player, so... 
Would like to lure the Rex over this way. There he is. The only thing is when it starts running away. That's all I'm worried about. I'm gonna have to... Uh, I need a taller tree. Grab one of these thyla trees. Bitch, don't do it! Damn you. Well, I got I got nervous, chat. I got nervous. That that's what happened there. It's finally on to me. It's moving around so much. Keep it up, Stego. Keep it up, Stego. I don't want to hurt him too much. That only does 26. Didn't you guys say that my crossbow was better? Gotcha, bitch.
Try to see if we can find anything in the area. Oh. There's that dead stego down there, chat. Ouch. Gotta be careful. I could chop that dead stego up. Get some prime meat. Right? We're so close to dying, though. Let's be careful. Let's get the shit out of me. Damn, no freaking prime meat. MW to kill a level 44 Alpha Rex with my Rexes. Let's see you do that. Courage with the super chat. At level four, yeah, I've, ne I don't, I've never even seen an Alpha Rex yet. That, that's way above my big head, but uh, Courage, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's all good, chat. We're just going to wait it out. It's not, it's not like we gotta wait all that long. It's already at 17%, probably like five, six, seven more minutes. We just gotta make sure we keep everything away. Make sure nothing comes. Now we could throw him on the tame tracker now. So he's 99 or level 90 plus 44 levels. There is a freaking Bronto right over there, chat. You see him? I don't want to risk going all the way over there for... See, chat, I could use my Rex to eat the other Rex, but then I'd have to leave this Rex unattended. So I'd rather just stand here, make sure he doesn't get hit by anything, make sure his level doesn't get messed up. But I said, it's not a big deal. My attainment rate is on three, I believe. Um, I know a lot of people play with it on five, and I'm like, on five. My my Rex got my our last one Mig, got attacked. Yeah, it got attacked, dude. Uh, what was it that attacked it? Uh, chat. It was some small. Um, what the fuck hit it? The, yeah, there was something. There was a bunch of them. There was like three or four of them that ran up um, and, and started hitting it. And I was like, what the hell? And it ruined our last tame. Yeah, I was super pissed. I was super pissed. And then chat was like, kill it! And I was like, no! I should have brought my other Rex with me, though. Should have brought both of them. But we're already almost halfway, so... Take this time and, and talk to chat, you know? I do want to thank you guys. Almost 1,100 likes. We got ourselves a uh, level 90 tech Rex, which is going to end up being like 130-something. 134. It's going to make our current Rex that we own look very bad. Uh. 
Yeah, no, people people say um, that nothing attacks the Rexes, but my, my shit got freaking attacked, man. <laughs> we lost half of its uh, taming ability or taming uh, effectiveness. Got an extra cryopod, right? Yep. Cool. That freaking um, grappling hook to work out really, really nice, chat. I, I like that. That's a good strap. Like a large, you know, two of those in the back. Oh, so you guys are saying my Rex got hit accidentally? Because it definitely, I, it definitely was like it was getting chomped on. Seventy percent, though. We're almost there. So could I use that same strat to tame a Giga? You're at 99.3% taming effectiveness. It would be super difficult. What do you mean it would be difficult? That felt that felt pretty easy, chat. Granted, I failed the to, to come down. I, I got super overzealous coming back down the tree. Um, you know, it took a bit of damage, but... Eighty-eight percent, almost there, chat. Almost there. It was a good experience, though. Good, a good uh, learning experience there. Giga can bite the whole redwoods in one shot. <laughs> So let's compare stats. What is mine right now? One more minute. This Rex has 8,000 health. 
and about almost seven, almost 700 melee damage. 8,000 health, 700 melee damage. I want to compare it to what this one's going to be. I would suggest to tame LVL 140 plus Rex male and female. That's the level you need for the boss fight. Also tame a Baryonyx. It is best for caves and water. I, I still don't even know what the Baryonyx is. Like, a lot of you, RVG, uh, first of all, RVG, thank you for the super chat. I do appreciate that. We got to look for one of those Baryonyx. Uh, have I seen one yet? Level 134, so let's get rid of that pain menu. Okay, so the health is about almost 5,000 with 300 melee damage, but that's with no upgrades whatsoever. Oh, let me see. Stamina 1,400. Holy crap. That's way higher than... So its stamina is really, really huge. Got a bit more health. Let's get this baby saddled up. And this thing is a sick color, too, chat. Yeah, it's stamina is freaking monstrous. So we'll start dumping... We'll start dumping into health. What would you guys what would you guys say is a good bit of health for a Rex of this caliber? What like ten thousand? Twenty K? Archie's beasted on that damn Rex. So when I'm on a Rex, or any dinosaur at that. The aggro will only register, it registers as the Rex, right? So if something won't attack a T-Rex in the wild, even if I'm mounted on it, it still won't attack the T-Rex, right? Or will it aggro because it's a tame dino? A Giga Will? For instance, like that scorpion in it. It's strong as hell. Couple saber tooths down here, chat. Any of them worth snatching up? 
Level 135 Sabretooth. Stand on the Rex and shoot. Well, the only thing I was worried about the Rex eating it. <laughs> I got bad luck when it comes to the Rexes. Been eating my damn sh Let's grab this. Okay, do you think this will work, chat, or do you think it'll be able to get me up here? We're about to find out. Yeah, I don't know which one is which. going to sleep. <laughs> They're all going to sleep then. Oh, that one's running. He's running. Need to get the damn... I need some bolas, man. I think the high level one we want is one of those two. I could tell by the pattern. I think it was that one. I think it was the one we shot. Yep, the one we shot twice. What was it, right? Yep, 135. If I had some bolas, this would be freaking a cakewalk, chat. Um, I might kill the other guys first, because it only took two darts to get him running. Hmm. Those going. Seriously. Son of a bitch is just gonna run, aren't they? Now, let me see if I can craft up some bolus here. I think I might have what it takes to craft some bolus. What do we 
need. Fair hide, patch. We got this. What son of a bitch? Why did it run? I think that's the high level one. What level are you? Oh, bitch, you're dead. That might be the high level one right there. Now that did tons of damage. One thirty five, there it is. Come on, come on, come on. Go to sleep. Oh, you motherfucker. Ooh. Gotta get him in the pool again. I get him. Shit. We kind of chased him into the to the danger zone a little bit here, chat. 
crazy. I'm gonna switch to my I wonder how far he ran off. <laughs> you fucking bitch! Oh, it's just a... Probably get the hell out of here, chat. Not a good plan. Yeah, we lost them, chat. I'm not too worried about it, though, because Saber we can get Sabres pretty easy over on Carnal Island. They're everywhere. Uh, Darth, how you doing? Kind of dumb of me, though, to just run into the damn woods like that, though. It would have been nothing for a Thyla to just jump on me, right? I was so I got so tunnel visioned on the saber tooth that I didn't want to lose it. We took off the I said, well, we got a Thyla anyways. Which one, what would you guys, would you guys consider a Thyla better than a Sabretooth anyways? I mean, that was a level 135.
Yeah, so if anything, I'd rather get a higher level Thyla anyways. I feel like we made some relatively decent progress so far. Uh, we got stuff in the base squared away. We did get this, the shotgun done. Um, close to getting the chemistry station done. I just need to get some stone, which we can get the dido out, the dode out there. Roly poly dude, get some stone and then uh, bark powder, boom. But I want to get another higher level Thyla, drop them in here. We need to land really quick. This fog is the thickest chat. Hey, poop, man, man. <laughs> They're constantly pooping, man. Constantly pooping. So let's get back to base. I'll show you guys the new A-team that we've acquired. so hungry all like like we're just slamming through food all right chat so this is the new 18 when it comes to bossing so I can't bring them into caves Why, why do they gotta shit every time they come out of the, the, the pot? It doesn't... Is that their signature move? They shit every time. There's the fucking A-team chat! I can't breed though because literally every Rex we have is a female. <laughs> every Rex we have is a female, even this one. There it is, chat. The A team. This, we would, like, if I was rolling with all four, like, if this was the kill squad chat, if this was the kill squad, nothing in the game can touch us right now. We would, we would erase everything. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna go health, 10,000.
know you guys see it, right? Giga equals team to Get out of here. The team is ready, chat. The team is ready. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys the A team. So you guys would truly understand the power that we've amassed. Especially our Spino chat, a level 182 Spino, and that's like, he was level 100 when we, like, or no, what level was he, I think we got, we got him at like 160 something, like he's still, he's gonna be super strong. That Spino is, is, is the real deal. Yeah, I, I mean, we probably could leave him out. The only problem is I don't have, uh... Nah, I'll build a... I, I gotta build a pen for him and shit. Not a pen, but at least a, uh... Whatchamacallit? Um... A trough, which I'll do next time. Yeah, we gotta let these guys sit out. I'll probably let them sit out and, and heal next episode. Kinda just guard the base. But I gotta get a trough for them. Look at all the poop. I let them out for five minutes. Look at all the poop. Gotta get a trough for them. Fill it up with some meat. We will be good to go, chat. We will be good to go. So, there it is, guys. There it is. Uh, I feel like we made some pretty good progress, especially in the base. Um, next episode, I got to focus on getting that chemistry bench built. And we can start scrapping up some bullets. And then, uh, yeah, we just got to... I, I would like to get a higher level Thylo. So, I think we might go ahead and try to hunt one of those now next episode. We'll just kind of fly ourselves through the, the forest there um, and try to lure one out to our trap. So thank you guys again. Um, I really appreciate you guys for hanging out. We got over 1,100 likes on the stream. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this. Uh, on your way out, if you haven't, smash that like button. It's the best way to let me know that you guys are having fun. And uh, I'll be doing another stream here in a little bit. We'll be playing some State of Decay. So Cherry, brother. Oh, my God. You, Cherry, too much, man. You, you did so much for me, man. Uh, you don't understand. 1v1 Giga has 80,000. Takes 450 Trank Darts. 11, oof. It's all good, Jerry. That's too easy. 80,000? I could get my new Rex up to 80,000. And then we're over here slapping gigas. Slapping gigas. Like, I haven't met a dino yet in this game, chat, that we haven't either A, tamed, 
or smashed on. So, there it Bro, is. Bro, you just do not understand. A LVL1 Giga has 80,000 health. It takes 450 Trank Darts or 1,100 Trankeros to knock them out. I still feel like the Giga's being over-exaggerated. Like, it can't be as bad as you guys are making it out to be. Well, that, that was the thing is, and, and I guess the only reason where my confidence comes from is because we went out with the Kill Squad, right? And, and, and the, I, you know, other people in chat could attest to this. Um, I've, we've seen certain things out there, right? You know, Alpha Raptors or Alpha freaking Carnos or, and, and everybody said, Oh, don't run, bro. Run. Don't fight that. And then I go up and I fight it and I smash it. Right. And everybody's like, damn, you're pretty good, bro. Like that, like we killed the shit. Out. So I feel like it's, it's the same thing as right now. You guys are like, Oh, the gigas. And then I'm going to see a gig. I'm going to go and I'm fucking smash on it. And then, then where are we going to go from there? You know what I mean? It's the same, chat. It's the same. It's the same. Have I seen a Titan? No, I haven't even seen a Giga. What is there, is there stuff bigger than a freaking stronger than a Giga? I thought you guys said the Giga was the monster, like the Mac Daddy Dino. Yeah, so you guys know I'm not even worried about it. When we find a Giga, it's going to be mine. I'm smashing on it. Priscilla, did you see your dino? Hold on, before I... I don't. I, I see Priscilla in the chat. Did you see your dino I got? I... Are you seeing it? Yeah, you got you got the tech rex. I did forget the S though, so I'll, I'll fix that. So you're right now. You're pre Scylla. That's pre Scylla. <laughs> but there it is, chat. I do appreciate you guys for hanging out. Um, like I said, we'll be doing another stream here in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for showing so much love and support to this series. I can't wait. Now, next episode, uh, if I could transfer my save over to, um, to Steam, then we're going to be, um, we're going to be playing over on, uh, Steam going forward. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if I can transfer to save. It shouldn't be too hard. Somebody said they sent they, they posted video, so I'm gonna go check that out. But all right, you guys have a great night. If I don't see you over in the next stream, uh, but for those of you guys who will be over there, thank you, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.